This is Prince Hanley coming to you with 100,000 watts of pure love. I want to talk to you today about Go Start a New Church Now. I want to first give you a prophecy. In the last days, churches and messianic synagogues will be formed from groups of believers as small as two or three to as large as two or three million. That's right, but not meeting in worship centers. They will meet in forests, open areas, homes, caves, offices, parking lots, and jungles. Yes, even in the deserts. The Spirit of the Lord and of Revelation says the transition from large indoor meeting places is at hand. The winds of change and of governments will begin to blow against them to do my will. I will at the same set time form my power folds of believers to seek my face, to hear my spirit, and to receive miracles from heaven for the last great gathering of souls on earth before the tribes of Israel mourn for my son. In this you will know my chosen places of meeting with my people. Signs and wonders will be there. The directive of that prophecy is to start new churches and messianic synagogues. Gather a group of people together to seek the Lord, to hear from his spirit, and to receive miracles. Teachers and prophets will come to the front. Then apostles will be sent out to evangelize, teach, and raise up new folds of believers. This is how the kingdom moves forward. You, yes, you, can start a church or messianic synagogue. It's always good to have a partner with whom to work. Jesus sent his followers out two and two where he was going to come, and he will be where you start a work. I suggest you take the following steps. First, pray and ask God where he wants you to start a new work. Number two, read my tract, How to Start a Church or Synagogue. You can find that at the website at realmiracles.com, and on the left of any page, you'll see a link to Advanced Studies. On the Advanced Studies page, click on How to Start a Church. Number three, ask God if you or someone else should do the teaching. Number four, pray for helpers, and I will discuss this later in this podcast. You may want to consider moving away from your area to start the new work. Or you may have leading from the Lord to start works in your local area. If you are unemployed, young, or retired, or just want to do something new and different, go start a church or synagogue now. If you know John 3.16, you're loaded for bear. If you need other teaching, there are several options. Always make sure they're Holy Spirit anointed ones. I'll give you a few right here. Number one, go to princehandley.com. Click on every link there and find all the resources available to you on that ministry portal. Then study everything on all the resources. Everything at each link. Number two, go to hmpodcast.wordpress.com. HM for Healing and Miracle. That's hmpodcast.wordpress.com. Listen to every podcast and read all the show notes of each podcast. Learn everything you can about divine healing and health. Then go to realmiracles.com and click on the link Health, which you will find on the left of any page. 
The reason I'm giving you these references is that you will need to know everything you can about praying for the sick so that the people you minister to can be healed and receive miracles. And by the way, if you'll consult the show notes of this podcast, you'll see the various links. For Jewish and Israeli orientation, go to podcastsatellite.com or princehandley.wordpress.com or podcastsatellite.libson.com. And if you need literature in foreign languages to distribute, go to apostlehandley.wordpress.com or tracksforyou.com. Tracks spelled T-R-A-C-T-S, the number four and the letter U, tracksforyou.com. You'll also find instructions there for downloading the different literature and how to print it yourself or take it then to a printer to be printed. As the new work grows, you will need helpers, prayer partners, financial partners, kids ministry workers, crews and team members for different activities. Be praying ahead of time for these people. One of your important first steps will be to organize an intercessory prayer group. And don't forget to let the intercessors know regularly what you need prayer for. Now let me give you some closing suggestions. Number one, pray and ask the Lord to confirm your leading through providential circumstances or through prophecy or by the witness of his spirit in your heart. Number two, just listen to God. If you have a heart for people and you want to see them saved and grow in the grace and knowledge of the Lord Jesus, the Messiah, then go start a new church or synagogue now. If you need guidance or direction or if you want a prayer partner, contact us at mentorhelp at gmail.com. I'm excited to see and hear what the Lord Jesus is doing through you and what he's going to do through the millions of people you're going to reach in the future. This has been your friend, Apostle Prince Hanley, coming to you with 100,000 watts of pure, healing, Holy Spirit, miracle-working love.